welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I have some products for you to review. They were sent to me by Agape Custom Leatherworks, sent to me by the owner Luke Summers, Agape Custom Shop, located in the Willamette Valley in Oregon. They started out as sort of a custom guitar accessory shop. They're making things like pedal boards, custom guitar cases, amp cabs, display boards, things like that. Since then, they branched off into leather accessories with Agape Custom Leather, and they make all sorts of things like bags and belts and wallets and coffee cozies, but they also make pipe smoking accessories, and Luke sent me a couple of their products. I have them right here, and we're going to take a look at these products. They're basically leather trays for pipe smokers, and I'm gonna talk about their utility, what you might use them for. We're gonna take a closer look, and then I will give you my opinion on these products at the end of this review. So let's take a closer look at these Agape Custom Leather Pipe Smokers Leather Trays. Well, here we are, two leather trays by Agape Custom Leather. These are primarily meant to be used by pipe smokers, and I think you can already guess the utility just by looking at them. This is the large right here. This is six inches by nine inches. We have the regular, which is six by six. And at a very basic level, they are for loading your pipe and preventing a mess. So many of you, I'm sure, have used something like this to load your pipe. You have your tin of tobacco, you crack it open, and uh, it gets everywhere, especially if you have a ribbon cut like this. If you decide that you're going to load your pipe over, you know, a desk, maybe on your lap, in a chair, you don't wanna just hold your pipe and start loading tobacco into it because it's gonna go all over the place. So I typically use a piece of paper like this and I'll do a little gravity fill at first. And as I tamp it down, you can see that already there's gonna be getting little bits of tobacco all around. And then typically what I would do after I loaded the pipe is I would take my tin, take my piece of paper, fold it, and then deposit the little bits of tobacco back, in, back into the tin. Well, with these pipe trays, they're just called leather trays on the website. I'm going to have a link to the Agape Custom Leather Store below in the description box so you'll be able to find these. But if we use the regular here, we have our tobacco, we have our pipe, and as we load it up, the tobacco gets everywhere as usual. We're just going to do a quick, quick and dirty load and tamp here. Not going to get all frank with it, the frank method. We'll use the three pinch. All right, so there is a loaded pipe. Put that to the side. And of course, you can see all the bits of tobacco. That's actually almost a complete other bowl that I could smoke there. And the thing with these is that you can fold them from corner to corner and then pour it right back into the tin. I like the fact that he has all the edges rolled up like this. I'm assuming he uses a method where he stretches and steams, but these are very pliable. They're rigid to a point. You can hold it like this. It's not going to flop down, but they are bendable. So you can make a nice little funnel for the tobacco and pour it right back in your tin or your jar, whatever you happen to be using. And then once you've put the tobacco back in the container, they just retain their shape. And then you can use that also as kind of a protector for whatever surface you might be smoking on. So if you have a hot pipe, you can put that down. The pipe can get hot down on the bottom, sort of like a coaster can be for your, uh, for your coffee. And also it can just be kind of a caddy for your other accoutrement when you're smoking a pipe. Your tamper, your lighter, perhaps some pipe cleaners, especially the large tray, which we have here. Now I should actually have something to hold my pipe, but we're just gonna use this little compartment make do with that for now. You can keep this to the side. You can put your uh, accessories, your accoutrement right here, maybe a pipe cleaner or two, and then use this area to load your pipe. I think it's sort of a fun, attractive accessory. As pipe smokers, we seem to kind of like all the different little accessories that go into the hobby. The cool lighters we use, the different pipe tools and tampers and things like that. And this sort of falls into that same vein. It helps you appreciate or enjoy the hobby a little bit more. And they look pretty damn good, I have to say. 
Some of the information that he has on the website about these trays says that they are all airbrushed for the thinnest coat possible with a high quality leather dye and then lightly buffed with carnauba wax to help protect the leather and seal in the dye. And then the natural trays, I believe this is natural, this color. Um, they only get the carnauba wax finish. And then also mentioned that when not acting as an ingenious pipe smoking accessory, the tobacco tray doubles as a stylish bedside, va bedside valet to hold your wallet, keys, and various other pocket dumps, which I will have to say is the case. I've been using this one actually for my change, my keys, my wallet. I have this on my little counter as I walk in to my apartment and I just dump my pockets into this. I previously had a little ceramic dish that I use for that, but now I use this and this is the one that I use when I'm actually loading my pipe. We take a closer look at these just to see some of the features. This one, I believe, is the Java Burst color. Very attractive. You know, he mentioned that he had a custom guitar accessory business. I have to imagine that this color scheme is influenced or at least inspired in some way by some of the cool uh, sunburst finishes on guitars. I have a Rickenbacker actually that has a really cool fire glow, kind of a sunburst finish. So this is very reminiscent of that. Um, you can see that it is a nice piece of full grain leather, dye around the edges, dye around the edges here. I'm assuming he has some sort of mold where the leather is stretched and steamed to retain the shape. And then embossed upon it is the Agape Custom Shop logo made in Oregon. The only negative I have about these, and this is really personal to me, I'm not a huge fan of large branding on products. I would have preferred maybe if this logo were sort of small and in the corner perhaps, but that's a minor quibble. It's just something that kind of bothers me personally, but a lot of other people wouldn't mind. And it's actually an attractive logo too. It's not like it's really garish or annoying. But that does bring us to the other negative they are kind of expensive. The small tray here, the six by six is $50. The large tray is $60. So you are spending quite a bit of money for a custom leather product like this. That's kind of just par for the course though, for these smaller manufacturers, they don't really make their money in volume and it's expensive to produce items like this. So you usually are paying a bit more than you would if you were to go with a larger company. But I think in terms of the quality, the way these are made, they are definitely a nice product and I've been enjoying using them. I use the large one, as I said, for loading my pipe. I use the small one as a pocket dump receptacle. You should also check out their website just to see some of the other pipe smoking accessories they have. Um, one thing that really looked cool to me was the Pipe Traveler. It's a, sort of a pipe pouch. They have two different sizes and looked very handy for if you ever want to take your pipe on the go. And then they also had a lighter cover made of leather and then various wallets and other leather accessories as well. So be sure to check that out. So there you have it. Agape custom leather pipe smokers leather trays. I enjoyed using these quite a bit and I think they might actually replace the old piece of paper as my pipe loading surface. They are quite good in terms of utility, quite good in terms of the construction and the quality. They are a bit spendy. That is the one hurdle that would make me think twice maybe about purchasing these. But with all these small leathercraft studios, you know, they're not selling in the volume that can really bring those prices down. So you're always gonna pay a little bit more when you're getting a custom leather product like this. And then the other thing that I mentioned is the branding is a little large, but that's me. Other people might not mind that at all. But I really like these. I'm gonna keep using these. You might see these replace, you know, I have my little, uh, silver tray that I use in my pipe tobacco reviews. I'm thinking this might replace that in the future because I have really enjoyed the utility of these and I've been using these since I received these for review. So thank you so much for watching my review of the Agape Custom Leather Pipe Smokers Leather Trays. I've been a good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. Again, as I mentioned, look in the description box below for a link to these products. I'll see you later.